Hi folks and welcome to another uh, video about Android UIs. Same sort of deal if you've seen my other ones. Um, I, it's not really a tutorial, I'm just going to walk through it and talk about the design I'm making, which is this today. I'm trying to make this, which is really quite simple. You have the graphics, it's just uh, six buttons here. Uh, let me check, i am actually got this on an iPhone device right next to me. Um, so I just took that screenshot and emailed it to myself. Um, I'm just checking, yeah, below there is another button uh, called check-in. So it's six buttons with one button at the bottom. Um, and I'll, when I get to that, if I get to that, I will um, show another screenshot. But it's just a Facebook check-in button really at the bottom. Now, because I've just hit record, I thoroughly expect that about every messenger and phone in my house will start ringing. If that does happen, I'll just pause. But for now, let us try and get our workspace in order. Oops, this mouse is still... I still haven't bought a new mouse. And I'm still sniffing. I uh, had bronchitis last week, that was no fun. I think I did a video during that time, in fact. Uh, I don't know how good it was because I could barely think, but... Right, let's start a new file. So I go to New, File, and they've changed, the client has been changing this main menu, so I'm just going to uh, call this Main Menu V2. So we're actually on a new file altogether. And instead of changing it from the old one, I just decided to start again because I thought, well, A, it would be a good thing to record because people seem to like the last one, and B, uh, it's just easier to start again sometimes if, if people change things so much that um, you're, you're now using layouts you don't even want. Right, so the first thing I'm going to put in is a relative layout based on what someone told me uh, last time. Apparently it helps at some level. I'm not sure if that's really true. But I'm going to try it. And now what I want to do is actually a scroll layout because uh, if it's on a small screen, like this screenshot here, you want to be able to scroll up and down. And I haven't mentioned the tabs at the bottom. Wait, I'm just going to open my drink. I haven't mentioned the tabs at the bottom. I think I might have done in my last video. They have to be on every screen, so I'm either going to have to use some sort of tab host on Android or something, but I usually find them too annoying. I normally just fake it. Or what I'm planning on doing, actually, is because I have... Uh, every one of my activities uh, inherits from a superclass of my own creation that I think I can probably tap into that after the uh, in the on resume and just lay the uh, fake tabs at the bottom. Right, what do I want to do now? Uh, I wanted to scroll there, didn't I? Composite? Yes, a scroll view, sorry. Now, I drop that in. Oop, see this mouse is already going crazy. Why did it automatically put a linear layout? Is that deliberate. Anyway, that's what I want, to be honest. So I'm going to set these all to uh, fill parent. Align top, align left. See, I don't know why it's, it's already started. Because of um, recording, reality is breaking. I didn't click them. I'm pretty certain I didn't click them. Right, let's make it Fill parent and fill parent. That is just crazy, isn't it? Every time I record anything, suddenly Eclipse goes nuts. And now you'd be you'd be laughing if you've seen my other ones. Ah, because margins have been added. You know that that could be a combination of my mouse messing up, Eclipse going weird when I hit record, or just Eclipse being weird in general. But anyway, now we have. Uh, everything filling the parent, right? Uh, this one, I'll just change that to fill parent for now. Because the reason we want, and I haven't even explained this, so the relative layout I'm using because some bloke told me it's more efficient on rotation or something, so I'm testing that. The scroll layout, because obviously if something's too big for the screen, we want to scroll. And then this linear layout here, which is uh, vertical, uh, so it but actually means that it stacks them down uh, from top to bottom, because that's what we want, right? It's like three rows of buttons. 
So inside this one, now we put another layout. Now I'm going to have to hold my mouse button down because if it does that weird thing again, it'll be annoying. Right. So there's the uh, the one that we want, right? So that actually is stretching across. Now we want two buttons in that. Um, and I'm just going to try, first of all, with image buttons. So I'm going to put an image button in there. And now, obviously, I need the graphics. Uh, do I have the graphics in there? I think I do. Sorry, just having a drink there. Uh, my mic is so powerful, any little breathing or drinking or snorting comes out on the video. Right, it's called Map Icon underscore 2X. And the other one is called Icon Rides something. So, map. Right. We've got that already. That looks good. Um, we'll, we'll configure this one before we duplicate it, right? So actually, because we want it to fill the screen, we need to click fill parent and set the weight. Um, right. So it's filling as best it can. And we'll put a one there, which won't do anything yet because we've only got one image button. But if I then double click that, I can actually copy and paste it in here. <coughs> Makes life a lot, little bit easier. And now I want to swap that image to the other one, right? Which was um, Icon Rides and Attractions 1. Yes? So, let's minimize this. We can see already we have the top row here almost working. They look right. Um, and they have these weird grey uh, borders around them, but uh, if you go to the background and set it to hexadecimal transparency, which is hit the hash key once and then 0000, zero, 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 zero that's red, green, blue, <clears throat> and then alpha, zero, 00, enter. Then you lose that background, which is great. Do the same for that one. Hash, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And that is looking quite nice already. Right, we have the background missing, of course. The top bar we don't have to worry about because we have Action Bar Sherlock doing that for us. Um, <clears throat> so really, <coughs> I'll set this background here, and I happen to know that that one is actually called Background 2X. Right, looks quite good. Um, now, we're not going to worry about the padding for now, all right? I don't think. Oh, are we? Yeah, let's worry about it. Let's just put 20 dp on the top, dp being density independent pixels, um, meaning that if you type 20 dp, even on an HD screen, it should cover the same sort of ground uh, space as an ordinary uh, non-HD screen, you know? And actually, this dpi thing is a lot harder to understand than you might initially uh, think about but DPI and all of that it low DPI and high DPI all depends about like distance on the screen the amount of pixels that can fit into an inch on the screen so if you have an HD phone which is small right because it's a phone and it's HD then it's very high DPI because it's squeezing all of those pixels into a few small inches you have a tablet that is HD it's actually lower DPI because the screen is so much bigger. And that is actually quite a tough concept in the, to get, even if you've got a Photoshop background and stuff like that, in my opinion anyway. But once you get it, you can actually make beautiful UIs that scale. Like this one here, right? I can check. This is on a Nexus 1, but I can actually go down to here and go, right, what does it look like on uh, this Nexus 10, this huge resolution? I don't even know if that exists. It might be just theoretical. So actually, there we're uncovering errors, so I better fix that now. And that's what you should do, check early on huge screens to see if everything scales. I mean, obviously you might want a separate interface for a large tablet screen or something like that, but actually, generally, what you want is just to scale. So what has gone wrong with mine? Well, it looks like, first of all, that linear layout isn't covering the full thing, even though Phil Parent has clicked. And I do see this uh, when I use this this weird uh, 